But it's now been one year since the death of 25 year old Shanquilla Robinson. She is the Charlotte woman who mysteriously died while on vacation with six others in Cabo last year, and there have been a lot of developments in the case, but also issues with what Mexican authorities will and will not pursue. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker walks us through what's next here. It's been one year since the death of 25 year old Shanquilla Robinson, a story with twists and turns. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. October 2022, Robinson traveled to Cabo with six other people and on the 29th, Robinson unexpectedly died. Robinson's death certificate says she died 15 minutes after suffering a severe spinal cord injury and a broken neck. Following her death in November, Baja California's Sur Attorney General's Office opens an investigation announcing it is a femicide, the way the Mexican government and authorities describe the murder of a woman. Back in the U.S., the FBI then follows the same steps. She had a whole, she had a whole life ahead of her. She didn't, you know... She didn't deserve this whatsoever. Shanquilla's father, Bernard Robinson, then asked Mexican authorities to charge all six people who she traveled with to Mexico, saying they were responsible for her death. The case then gaining national attention from the White House. In April, Robinson's family learning from the DOJ, the case won't see federal prosecution. It takes a little bit of chipping away. This leads us to today. Sue Ann Robinson, the family's attorney, says they are working through various channels and are pushing for the State Department to honor the documents that have been sent from the Mexican authorities. So that's a very political process. It can take time. Robinson says it's been a years long battle with challenges along the way. Capturing their attention long enough for them to focus on this issue. With the goal of justice. For the people responsible for the death of Shanquilla Robinson to be extradited to Mexico. Right now, there is only one person Mexican authorities are looking to extradite, and there have been no arrests made in connection. Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte. Of course, if you'd like to catch up on all of the events that we know about this case, you can find a working timeline on WCNC.com. And stay tuned because tomorrow our Jesse Pierre will continue our extensive coverage with what else the family attorney has to share about this case.